Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to play part 3 now. The round 3. Inazuma this time. Let's see. I have to wait till the following day. Hold on. <laughs> Just like yesterday. I don't think Kazu has with us, so let's see. Last night. I was supposed to be there. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I skipped the dialogue. Whatever. Oh look, promo posters everywhere from the moment you arrive in the harbor. Mm. Paimon gets more and more curious about the two inventors of this yeah, game every the two time inventors. we see the posters. You're not the only one. There's so little information to go off of that there's all sorts of wild speculations about them. Some people say that they invented the game after the God of Wisdom gave them an epiphany. No, while others don't. say that they're not actually the inventors at all. They're not actually the inventors at all? By the way, have you two ever read a book called King of Invocations? We only, we only heard of it, we never read it. Well, it's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. Yeah. It's quite fascinating. I made sure to read it before coming on this trip. Some people have even speculated that the author of the King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed, while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. Each of these theories gets more ridiculous than the last. Exactly. Which is why the original author came forward to deny these rumors. But oh. that only fueled the debate further, and the book's sales skyrocketed. It can't be denied that the King of Invocations novels are a major part of why Genius Invocation TCG has become so popular. Just look at the venue. They're almost treating this like a national festival. Mm -hmm. I bet the book is going to sell more copies after this. <laughs> you can be sure that the Fox Lady is behind all this. Fox Lady? Yeah, Miko. Yeah, Yai Miko! She's chief editor of the Yai Publishing House! Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her editors to use this event to boost light novel sales! Oh yes, I've been in that situation many times myself. Although in our case, the boss would be drinking coffee and talking about newspaper sales. <laughs> Sounds like bosses are the same everywhere. Okay. Now let me guess. We're probably gonna see Yaimiko. Kirara again, probably. So I'm gonna put them in. Charlotte Noah. <laughs> hey. Yai. Alright, amuse me. And Kirara, surely. All expenses paid travel? Okay. Okay, just that report there. Herself. Traveler, Paimon, we meet again. Oh, who is this? She's the Archon of Inazuma. Ah, allow Paimon to introduce you. <sighs> Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. <laughs> She's Inazuma's Eddie. Archon, exactly. She's, uh, <laughs> she's the Inazuma's Archon. What? You, you mean Her Excellency, yes. the Almighty Narukami exactly. Gosho, God of 
Doctor. <laughs> I can't. Hello. Introduce so casually, by the way. Recognizing you. I. <laughs> As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Right. Uh. I mean. Okay. <laughs> Each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. How come we didn't see Venti is only monster or Liyue? <laughs> Miko invited me here to experience What's the fun Miko? and festivities along with everybody else. Oh, Paimon gets it! <clears throat> the tournament venue is full of excitement and tasty Obviously food! Nahida and, and Miko didn't want you to miss out! <laughs> I guess I'll let you catch up for now. We can meet up later, just like last time. Sure thing! See ya, Charlotte! She's probably intimidated. <laughs> Perhaps she felt a little <laughs> exactly. intimidated by me. Yeah, exactly. Ah, uh, she's probably <laughs> fine. Don't worry, she didn't leave because of you. We split up like this in previous places we visited. Hey, she too. Yes. So, how do you like Genius Invocation TCG? Paimon bets you're enjoying watching the tournament matches. Well, in fact, I uh. myself am competing in the tournament. Wait, really? Why is that surprising? Well, cards is an ancient right and it's playable as and it, uh, I was curious to see what I got card, a card games are like in this day and age. I advanced all the way to the semifinals. Damn. The semifinals? That's amazing! So when's your next match? Unfortunately, the semifinals is where my journey ended. The reason being... Hmm? The reason being that she lost to me. Oh. <laughs> and when I say lost, that doesn't begin to do it justice. It was quite a humiliating defeat. So Raiden lost to Yai. Well. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I only lost because I was duped by her little tricks. <laughs> What's wrong with my little tricks? Trickery within the scope of the rules is better known as ingenuity. It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshikaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. What a unique friendship. <laughs> huh. You're right, though. I should make an effort to get out more. Many things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, it seems that some people continue to fear the divine light. Just as before, in some of my tournament matches, I could see my opponent's <laughs> hands shaking, hesitant to play their cards. Now that I think about it, perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. Yeah, I can be. Oh, dear, dear. Other players lose their games and throw a tantrum. You win yours, and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. Oh. I should have known you'd be like this. Anyway, you should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks ah, to defeat Kokomi. that divine priestess from Watatsumi so Island. So that's the finals. Yeah, oh, versus so Kokomi. Kokomi's your opponent in the finals? Mm-hmm. On one side will be your erstwhile comrade in arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. So, little one, who will you support? <laughs> hmm. Miko, come on. No need to put them on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see how they'd react. Oh, the venue is right over there. Why not go and take a walk around? Oh, and if you meet my fellow finalist, do pass on my regards. I'm thinking maybe, maybe yeah, I might win. <laughs> That's my guess. Okay. Of all the characters I didn't expect, <coughs> didn't expect Raiden to be here. What is the situation? Oh. All right. Oh, Ito and Cookie. Hey, compadre! And flying <laughs> lavender melon. Oh, bull chucker! Don't call Paimon that in public! <laughs> what would 
this tournament be without Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion, Ito? Well, you lost probably Matter of fact, the whole Arataki <laughs> gang showed up in force. Our goal? To bring home the grand prize. <sighs> As fate would have it, Boss was the only one who didn't make it out of the qualifiers. <laughs> Ito didn't pass the qualifiers. What? Hey! That's not uh... the point. It was just some bad luck, that's all. I got matched Lama. against a strong opponent in the first round. Okay. Besides, it was a close match. It could have swung either way. I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. Losing in three hey, rounds. Hey, Shinobu, cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? The sandy Mama Mia, whatever her name was? Oh, okay, so Shinobu lost to Kokomi then. <sighs> Sangonomiya Kokomi? Watatsumi Island's military strategist? Yes, she beat me fair and square. I don't have a problem with that. <sighs> well, anyway, I've noticed something in this competition. If you want to win big here, you need style. That's right, I'm talking card backs. I lost my match because my backs were whack. What? But the style of card backs and a player's skill don't have anything to do with each other. Hmm, not really. If I know, we'll, we'll, we'll disagree on that. Oh, no, no. That's where you're wrong, Mini Milan. It's just like Milan. how the strongest Oni Kabuto have the brightest colors on their back. If your cards look cool, then you'll definitely draw a better hand. Ah, uh, beetle fighting and playing TCGs are completely different. In cards, you actually have to rely on your own skill. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's no use arguing with you. Why don't we let our friend here weigh in, hmm? Uh... Why don't we play a match and see? <laughs> don't need to side one. Why do you keep making me pick one? Uh, luckily, there's another option. Hey, you're right. That's a pretty neat idea. How about this? Shinobu, lend me your deck. You've got some pretty slick card backs. Hmm, but the Traveler probably has cool card backs too. Maybe even better than yours. Okay, in that case, you can use my deck. Boss, how do I put this? Nobody could win with that deck of yours. <laughs> no matter who uses it. Is it that bad? Hey, quit busting my chops! Sheesh! What do you say, Traveler? You got time for a match now? Sure. Oh, shit! Let's go! <laughs> I was wondering if there was a TCG. Sure. Great! See? Okay. This is what I call Actually, a true a TCG. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Alright, I'll be the judge then. Just remember to take it easy, you two. This isn't a high stakes match. It really doesn't matter who wins or loses. Oh, shh, shh, shh. No. Do you guys hear that? It's the cry of my cards, cheering me on in the wind. My cards, you mean? <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to see. Kokomi Yae Kale. Ah. Okay. Your active deck. Oh, so I am using Ito's deck. Okay, I'm not using my own deck. Well, that's a problem. Uh, I can only do Electro Cryo. Chong Yun Arataki Ito. What's this? The Legend of Vanessa. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not used to using a different deck. Okay. Special rule: use Ito's deck to for the duel. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh! I didn't think there would be a TCG, and I'm not using my own deck. Okay. Let's see. Ah. Uh... <laughs> We're gonna make this the most exhilarating TCG duel ever, compadre. I don't think either side will have a good time dealing with boss's deck. Alright. Uh how do I do this? Um
physical I because I don't never tried these cards before. I guess we'll just take Itola. I am the man. Geo Cryo Electro is what I need. Is this next normal attack cost one less? Ushi decreases damage when your active character takes damage. Okay. The bell will be useful for. Well, everyone is. Uh... <laughs> Everyone's a claymore. Well, when playing a weapon card, spend forging blades equal to the two. Oh, okay. Hit four basic elemental dice of different types. Well, I'll summon the Ushi first. This is a problem. Uh. I can't use any of these. What the hell? Um I can't even attack unless I sacrifice a card. Well, I have to waste the two dice now. Damn it, uh, I should have uh, converted that. Show them. Oh no. I have three. Okay, Geo. Now it's zero. Ah, okay, that's useful. Okay, okay. Well, I can give. To wait, what's this? If if opposing character is defeated, uh, if the character this card is attached to is the active character, create only element. Uh, I feel I should change first. Or use cryo and then switch to geo. What? Oh boy. I am the man. One one, right?
so far so good. Hmm. Okay, I'll end my turn there. That thing is gonna cause everyone electro damage. Uh, another one, man. Skyward Blue. Okay. I want to use this, but it's a problem now. How? <laughs> How do I even use this card? Create four elemental dice by sacrificing three. Oh, I still have the cryo damage. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I got no choice. Unless I use Electro somewhere. There. Get back. Hold the line. Oh boy. That's not good. Um no matter who I'm gonna get. A reaction, damn it. I can't attack unless I sacrifice one card. So I think I switch and attack. Or I sacrifice a card. I feel like this thing isn't helping me. Everyone is cryo affected. Wait, it's my turn. I can switch. I am the man. Take this, compadre. Try this off the side. I'm gonna get all the damage here. That's Dendro Hydro. Ah, uh, I don't have a hotel card. Damn, this deck is actually very bad. Um, if I don't switch, my Ito is down. Damn it, nah. How much damage will I take? I still got more moves to do. Okay, then I, I end the turn first. Let's see what happens. One, two, oh shit, and two. Cryo Geo Um 
I can equip this card now. Okay. It's not a normal attack. That's three damage. Hmm. Can't do any elemental dam normal elemental attack. Ah, no choice though. What's this? Switch to the target character, then the character uses normal attack. Ooh. But I can't. That's actually good, but I can't. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to get out of this situation? All I can do is just take the damage. I'll scout ahead. Yep. A sight to behold. Oh. Ah. Everything is cryo damage. I want to do something else. Take me Damn it, Kidding me? I can't do anything unless this. Uh... But what can I do with this one? <laughs> there is no healing. It's only reviving. Ah, oh, no. this end the turn. I think I'll lose anyway. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm going down with style. Present. What? <laughs> After all that training. Ah. Uh. Seriously, what kind of deck is this? <laughs> See? My theory was correct. Don't let it get to you. You were using boss's deck after all. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Actually, we were looking for Kokomi. That would have gone better around? if we use our own, man. <laughs> or as Arataki numero uno idioso so eloquently called her, the fish lady. You're one to talk, Lavender Melon. Her match in the finals will be starting shortly, so she can't be far. Why don't you ask Kujo Sara over there? The Tenryo Commission is in charge of managing access to the venue and maintaining order. Hey, That's just remember that if you ever want to play another match, you can find me anytime. Sure, but let me use my own deck next time. God damn it. What's up, compadre? You here to play another game? Wait, you can rematch? Uh, okay, I will rematch later, not in this video. No worries, you go do what you gotta do. I'll see you later. Bruh, okay, I'm coming back for that. And I wanna rematch later. Anyway, talk to Kujo Sara. Oh. <sighs> Hi, Sara. We're looking for Kokomi. Have you seen her anywhere? I saw her exit the venue after the semi-finals, but she hasn't returned since. If you're looking for her excellency, I believe she's currently near the western shore of Rito. Goro! Good to see you! Hello, you two. Is there something the matter? No, we just wanted to say hello to Kokomi. Hmm. 
now that I think about it, her opponent in the finals will be a tough one to beat. Mm -hmm. Who are you rooting for, Sara? Up till now, the almighty Shogun had my full support. But now that she's been eliminated from the tournament, <laughs> not even truth, gonna support I don't really care. <laughs> I meant that for sure you'd be rooting for Miko. Mm -hmm. I certainly would, in the past. Oh, <laughs> right. But now that the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi are on amiable terms, we're all friends. No more grudges anymore. Those are exactly Her Excellency's thoughts as well. The point of a game of cards between friends is to exchange skills and enjoy the game together. It's not about who wins or loses. She hopes that this spirit of friendly competition will define Inazuma going forward. So no more enemies. A commendable attitude. <laughs> Her opponent is skilled in the art of deception. Even if she appears to have worry written all over her face, don't fall for it. She's likely trying to lead you into a trap. It's nice to see two generals who were once enemies on the battlefield now looking out for each other. Do not be mistaken. I speak only in the interest of fairness. The moment I saw the name Sangonomiya on the list of competitors, I anticipated that she would make it into the finals to face the almighty Shogun. But no. I've watched every one of her matches. She constantly adapts her strategy and excels at employing rare and unusual tactics. But after the Almighty Shogun's loss, I'm afraid that Lady Guji may also have caught wind of Kokomi's strategies. Oh, so you want to make sure Kokomi's got intel on the other side too? Wow, trust Sara to make sure everything is fair and above board. Hmm. Thanks for your insights, General Kujo. I will be sure to pass them along to Her Excellency. Don't mention it. <laughs> Everything the match will be starting shortly. Will be peace Please right let now. her know to get back to the venue soon. All right, then I'll get going. Okay. Let's switch a bit. Where is my Goro? Company, fall in! Well, I don't have Kokomi. <laughs> this is the outsider of their agency. Ah, man, I can't climb up here. This would have been easier if I used Kirara. <laughs> So you can't really see it. Nope, can't see Watatsumi. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, you can't see Watatsumi Island from Narukami Island. Imagine trying to see it when the islands were surrounded by storms. Though the islands are on peaceful terms now, the dark clouds of war still linger in some people's hearts. Even when no, friends argue, they still need time to reconcile. Think of how much time is needed when the conflicting sides could never even see each other. Are you okay, Kokomi? Oh, sorry. My mind was drifting to some more serious topics. Yes, I thought you might understand. Huh? What are you talking about? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that Her Excellency came here to compete with all of Inazuma watching. Yes. More people will be traveling between Watatsumi and Narukami Island from this day forward. The point I hope to make is, even though we believe in different gods, 
We can all come together as friends by playing cards at the table. We should be willing to cooperate and assist one another in the future. You could say that I'm playing cards to help dissolve enmity. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Besides, my passion has always been in tactics and strategy. How could I pass up the chance to play in a tournament for a strategic game like this? Oh, so you have your personal reasons to play too! <laughs> yes, partly. You should be careful of that fox lady. <laughs> Even Zara warned us that she'll be a cunning opponent. <sighs> yes. It seems that you're not the only one who sees this tournament as a chance to resolve our differences, Your Excellency. Oh, that's good to hear. Don't worry, Paimon. I've already thought of a variety of stratagems for the match. Wow! Paimon's really looking forward to the final now! And Paimon swears that she's actually gonna see it this time! <laughs> no matter what! Really? Paimon won't okay. let herself get distracted! Not even by all the tasty snacks in Inazuma! Thank you. Alright, let's go! Let's see. Who will win, I wonder? Return to the Rito competition venue and attend the final. And where's Kirada here? He's not back yet. Follow my lead. Let's see. Charlotte must be somewhere. Oh. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. <laughs> oh, that's a nice title. Oh, Kirana is right here. Okay, yeah. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the Electro Archon would get upset over a minor thing like this. Hey, what are you two chatting about? The real question is, how many times are we going to run into <laughs> Kirara? Every Talk about a coincidence, time. right? What are the chances? I interviewed a few people around Rito, but no more details on the card snatcher, unfortunately. After that, I ran into Kirara here. We got to chatting, and then I found out that she knew you, too. Sorry, you said the card snatcher? Uh-huh, yes. Oh, let Paimon explain. Okay, good thing Paimon will explain. some insights regarding the truth of this matter. Really? That fast? But it's a little complicated, and the finals are about to start. Let me put it this way, though. The key to this case is actually Kirara. Huh? Well, I know it was a coincidence that we meet her, but... Huh? Huh? Exactly what? Oh. can think about it later. We want to watch the competition. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. Welcome to the final round of the King of Invocations Grand Prix in Azuman Regional Finals. Our contestants ooh, are ooh. Guji Yai Miko of the Grand Narukami Shrine versus Sangonomiya Kokomi, Divine Priestess of the Sangonomiya Shrine. <laughs> Without further ado, let the final match begin! Yay, it's starting! Now, to find out who will play first. You took your time. I was starting to wonder if you got lost walking on the seabed, Miss Soul of the Deep. You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. There's no need. <laughs> I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. If we don't 
don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. Round one! Begin! The two play close and thrilling game of Jenny's invitation, and, and the, the winner, winner is... Kokomi. Yay. I think Kokomi. No, I think it's Kokomi. Yeah, Kokomi. Kokomi. <laughs> the divine priestess from Watatsumi Island. She's back! Kokomi did it! <sighs> Just seeing that Kitsune Yokai made the fur of my tail stand on end. <laughs> Sorry, so Kokomi waiting. actually won. Congratulations. Thank you. Kokomi! That was a real nail biter, but you Miko is a crafty one. Pretending she had no strategy and letting one of her own character cards get defeated. Then she played two cards from her hand that required uh. the last character card. She came pretty close to turning the match around. Goodness, what's all the commotion over here? Discussing something interesting behind my back? Uh, not at all. Uh, Paimon was just saying what a real pity it was. <laughs> it's no pity at all. It was just a little fun competition. <laughs> we'll see who wins next time. What do you say, Miss Soul of the Deep? How about a rematch? If Miss Fried Tofu with all the frills hasn't oh, gotten too it. cold, I would be happy to play. However, the traveler here is waiting for me to help them solve a puzzle they've been facing. Oh, really? Then I won't disturb you. I'll go play with Goro instead. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen those fuzzy ears of his. <clears throat> now, back to our conversation. Right. Kirora, you've been delivering items between different nations for the past several days, correct? Yes. That's right. I've had quite a few deliveries recently. But what does that have to do with the card snatcher? The strange thing is that Kirara's delivery route has coincided with the yes. card snatcher's movements at every turn. But I don't think it's Kirara though. That's a coincidence, yes. surely. And therein lies the clue. You mean, Kirara is the card snatcher? No way. Huh? Hey, that's not true. I'm just out here doing my job. You can't just throw false accusations at a person. Uh, I mean, a yokai like this. <laughs> Calm down, you two. Kirara's yeah, not the cannot thief. be. Let me ask you, Kirara. Have any of your packages in the past few days been from the same sender? Or were any sent to the same destination? Oh. Let me think. Senders have all been different. But there's one destination that keeps coming up in every region I've been to. There's one destination that keeps coming up. Really? And what destination is that? Um, I'm not at liberty to give you the exact address. But I can tell you that it's in Sumeru. Were the contents light? No larger than the size of an envelope? Huh? Wait... You're not one of those yokai who has prophetic dreams, are you? <laughs> I, I guess she's guessing that, that it might be card packs that she's delivering that she doesn't know. <laughs> no, I'm only the hmm. divine priestess of Watatsumi Island. I just like to read light novels and books about military strategy. Divination's not my field. Well, after all I've said so far, have you arrived at the same answer as me? Wait, am I doing this again? <laughs> really? In Inazuma we're doing this? Okay. Every nation Kirara visited had a parcel sent to Sumeru. Yes. The contents were light oh? and were no larger than an envelope. Yeah, the package's contents are cards, definitely. Hold on, let me see the rest. The contents were probably genius invocation cards. Hey, no, wait. Associate? Wait, Kirara's actions. This? I thought you cannot pick this. Wait. Hmm. 
Nu i... Tens of all. Into breakfast. We've run into Kirara multiple times throughout our trip. Yes. We came to Inazuma because we tracked the thief here. So you're saying this and this? Hmm. No. There Kirara's actions with the delivery address? The appearance? No. Cancel? I think it's something with... Can you even associate this anymore? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there is any. <laughs> no, there isn't any. Okay, okay, okay. So, submit the conclusion... This. No, that doesn't seem to be the answer. Kirara's actions? No. Then? Interpret again. No. I'm missing something. These two can associate. But with what? I assume it's... visited had a parcel sent to Sumeru. No. No. <sighs> Am I missing something? I know we can associate this with something, but what? <sighs> You're confusing me. It doesn't... You can associate, but what can you associate? Something not right here. The card snatches actions. The we came to Inazuma. Be this. Yeah. Yes, the thief is using Komania Express. I was thinking about that. The thief is likely using Komania Express to send packages. Okay, submit this. No. <laughs> okay, because there's another associate here. Uh. The truth behind the package. Kirara's deliveries contain the treasure chest card backs. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Yes, you nailed it. Huh? So the card backs we've been looking for have been right under our noses all along? But there's still one thing that doesn't quite add up. Kirara picked up her package in Mondstadt before we encountered the card snatcher. The timing doesn't make sense. Mmm, picked up before we encountered, yes. I've thought about that too. The way I see it, there's more than just one thief involved. So it's not one. Yes. The person you've been tracking most likely is one member of the group. It seems the other members had already obtained the card backs and sent them together. Hmm. Now that I think about it, collecting all those card backs across so many nations would be near impossible for just one person. Yeah. But why is it the one we're following ever using Komania Express? Because he's too slow. He probably missed the arranged shipment date. Well, that's how I figure it at least. From your explanation, he's only committed theft on one occasion, and there were even witnesses. After that, he's been trading or playing to collect the card backs. I suspect that this person isn't a very good thief. He probably used the mora he was given to arrange shipments with Komania Express as funds to use for trading. And there's another question now. 
Why don't the other members just keep the cards and take them back to Samaru themselves? Unless there's a reason for them to stay. Yes. This is a question I'm still grappling with now. What is the thief's objective? What kind of secret is hidden behind these card backs? Unfortunately, there's no way to know without seeing one for ourselves. We haven't encountered any treasure hoarders in Inazuma. Uh, uh, hey! Don't look at me like that! I can't just open a customer's parcel! If the company ever found out, I'd be fired on the spot! And I don't want to go back to being a yokai in the mountains of Inazuma! No, we don't want to cause you any trouble, of course. At this point... Um, maybe it would be best for you all to accompany Kirara to Sumeru. Good idea! Going to the delivery location is the only lead worth following now. But if the recipient really is a bad guy, then Kirara could be in danger. We should come <laughs> along to make sure you're safe. Okay. Hey, I know my way around to fight too. Well, she can fight too. I haven't too. had a single package stolen from me since I've started this job. Whenever someone picks up me, I'd be an easy target to take packages from. <laughs> I send them running. Uh, let me think about it. <sighs> All right. I'll let you come with me to the delivery point in Sumeru, but on one condition. You have to promise that you'll hide somewhere where the customer can't see you. Who's ever heard of a group of people delivering packages? <laughs> no problem, you got it! Also, even if the customer is a bad guy and has stolen things, we should leave that for the local authorities to handle. Next stop, Sumeru! Oh, we're really traveling all over the place this time. <laughs> Good luck. You'll have to tell me how everything turns out the next time we meet. We'll probably be going there anyway because of the TCG event. <laughs> wow, what the hell? I didn't expect another one of those again. And... Wait. This is the Outlander Affairs agent. General Kujo, could I have a word with you? Yes. Congratulations on your victory, Sangonomiya Kokomi. I wanted to express my gratitude for the helpful advice you provided before the match. It was nothing. Anyone with a good head on their shoulders knows that skill and strategy ultimately determine the winner. In any case, it was an exciting match to watch. It was unfortunate that you didn't register for the tournament as well. Oh, Kujasara didn't register. I'm afraid I'd be no match for you. Don't say that. You're not so different from me. Seeking chances to hone your skills in the game, considering countermeasures, and competing with others as if they're friends? Perhaps you have a point. In that case, let's play a match of Genius Invocation before you <laughs> depart for Narukami Island. It would be my pleasure. Okay. That's that. I'll come back for the rematch later. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're done for now for this the third round. Round four in two days. Right, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. For the rematch. <laughs>